Oh good, we got some prime. Ah! Uh -huh. <laughs> Run away! Gonna get bit in the butt. Yowzers! Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival I said that I'm an old guy gaming. And in this episode, we are going to uh, tame ourselves a flyer. Uh, as you guys saw in the opening sequence there, I have uh, been very busy <laughs> uh, getting uh, just, you know, leveling and uh, getting prepared for things. I have harvested all of the metal nodes on this island. Um, and I got tons and tons of metal cooking up in these uh, four refineries here. And I already have a collection of uh, about uh, a little over 1,100 uh, metal uh, in the, the smithy. What I'm probably going to do is we found this amazing Ascendant, <coughs> excuse me, pistol blueprint, but uh, in one of the drops. But you, as you can see, it takes 1,578 metal ingots. Super, super expensive. Um, so. We have enough metal, uh, or we will have enough metal to do it. It's just taking time, you know, to get it all, all uh, refined there. Um, so anyway, it uh, and, and as you saw, uh, both of these inks just basically wandered into camp, and so I went ahead and tamed them. And this particular one, Hornita here, um, she was a 130, so she was even she's even higher than um, you know the 105, I think it was that's still up on the hill there. And so yeah, I just grabbed them because they've you know helped tremendously with uh our advancement here you know with their ability to not just get stone and metal and all that but they also are pretty good berry gatherers at least way better than i am and so yeah we've we're doing good here so uh, i got her melee damage up to a thousand and now i'm just pumping her weight and um uh spike here he was uh 44 um but i've i used him a lot even before i found hornita and i got his melee damage to a thousand and also pumping his way, but he's, um, you know, he's getting up there in terms of levels. Uh, okay, so what I want to do is, are you, you're a level 80. Uh, what I want to do is I want to get a flyer, and it's going to have to probably be a pteranodon if, if, we, if we stay on this island. Uh, I have seen a couple of Pelagornis, but they seem to have flown off to somewhere else. And yesterday, yesterday in real life for me anyways, one or two episodes ago for you guys, I did find a fairly high level Tranodon on this island. Now that doesn't mean it's still here, uh, but they are flying around. 
And so, uh, yeah, we'll get them. And, you know, I keep uh, harvesting the, the drop that comes down. It ranges from blue, uh, blue, purple, and yellow. And I showed, you know, a lot of those things. But uh, I also got a couple more uh, since I put that little montage together. So here's the stuff from those. And uh, the other thing that I did too, guys, is I, I turned the, I had originally, when I first started the series, I had set the drops uh, value up to three because I was basing that upon Ark Survival Evolved because the drops were always just terrible in Survival Evolved. Um, and then I got a, a couple of really high level items like that, you know, pistol. And I said, you know, that's a little OP, especially for this early in the game. So I, I toned that down. I cut it in half to 1.5. Uh, and so the more recent drops have still been good, um, but not, you know, I'm not getting like ascendant level blueprints. That doesn't mean we still couldn't potentially, but uh, at least I toned it down a little bit. All right. So anyway, um, let's see. We have, uh, we have 10 bolas here. We got 100 trank arrows. I got some more uh, spoiled meat to put in here. I've been making gunpowder, spark powder, narcotic. Uh, like crazy. It looks like uh, we're out of narco berries for the moment, but I got multiple uh, stacks of uh, of narcotic, as you can see here. Um, the leech blood, the ammonite bile, the polymer, all that came from the drops. I uh, and the insect repellent too. I haven't done anything uh, to uh, you know to to heart or make that stuff. It just came out of the drops, and I don't think this stuff will keep better in a preserving bin. Let's see, right now it's uh, 2 hours and 46 minutes. 2 hours and 46 minutes. This one is an hour and 24 minutes. Oh, okay, so that one does actually keep better. So the, so the yeah, we'll keep that in there, but this one does not. And I'm pretty sure the leech blood doesn't either, but let's just check that and the polymer. We'll check both of those too. So right now the leech blood is two hours and 20 minutes, two hours and 20 minutes. The polymer is 15 minutes and 15 minutes. Yeah, so those two, it doesn't matter uh, if we put those in any kind of a preserving thing because they're still going to spoil uh, at the same rate. If we had S+, plus, which we do not, um, the S+, plus refrigerator will take those things and keep them for longer, but of course we're not playing with S+. Plus. Uh, okay, so let's see here. I'm going to grab a little bit more food. And I haven't made any kind of a, a canteen or water skin or thing like that because, uh, we, you know, we're so close to the water we can get to it any, anywhere on this island. So I just haven't bothered with that at the, you know, for the time being. I think I am going to, let's go ahead and repair this. I did make a long neck rifle because after we get that pistol made, uh, then I'm going to make even more metal or refine even more metal and then start making tranquilizer darts. Um, but for the moment, we're just going to have to use arrows and we're going to have to be careful because pteranodons are kind of delicate, but hopefully we'll be able to find a high level one and knock it out. Oh, the other thing we need, of course, is a saddle. Let's, uh, in fact, I don't think I even have even learned that. Um, let's see. Oh. No, let's put Pteranodon Saddle. There we go. And why don't we go ahead and just make that, and that way we can take it with us. Uh, that we make in our own inventory, right? Yeah. So let's track that. And we should have all of this stuff. So we need 230 hide. 75 chitin or keratin and 125 fiber. There we go. Okay. I'm not going to uh, worry about getting anything for the pteranodon to eat until we get it knocked out. Their torpor doesn't go down too terribly fast. Um, and then we'll farm up some prime meat from something. Okay, so let's just leave the eggs here and we'll go uh, looking on foot. 
And then, the, you know, the second thing we'll do after we get a flyer is we're going to fly back to the main island and go get some crystals so I can make a spyglass and probably a water jar or two. So those are, that's kind of the first goal that we'll do after we get the flyer. And if I can't find that high level flyer, I'm just going to kind of grab anything for the moment because a flyer is better than no flyer. But uh, I, we did find one that I believe was over a hundred um, when we were looking before. You are, you're only 20. Uh, that's pretty lame. We, we will only take a 20 if 20 is the only option we have. So let's keep looking around here. I've gotten into several scuffles with the critters. Um, sometimes intentionally, you know, for their materials and sometimes accidentally. And, and that includes uh, a couple of Brontos that started messing up the house. And so I had to repair everything after I killed the Bronto. So it's kind of a pain in the butt, but it's what it is. Okay, I don't see any... Here, let's get in third person because this foil foliage makes it hard to see. There's a Tyranid on there. Obviously, we're going to have to wait for it to land before we can tell what it is. Let's see if it flies over to where we are up high here. And then if it doesn't, we'll have to go down to the beach. Yeah, see, it started. Well, okay. What you going to do, man? He doesn't quite know what he wants to do. All right, well, I'm just going to sit here and watch this and figure out where he goes, and then I'll bring you guys back once we can check him or her out. Okay, oh, this is going to hurt. Eh, not too bad. All right, what level are you? You are level 15. Seriously? I hurt myself for a level 15? All right, let's keep looking. I might find some more along the the shore going this way. Okay, here we go. Here's a nice green one. What level are you? You're also level 15. Damn it. What the hell, man? Guess we should probably start killing these low levels so we get better ones in. I kind of like the colors on that one, too. That was cool. I just heard... Okay, there's a flyer. I have no idea which one that is. That might be the level 20. Okay, let's let's just go out on the spit here. And if we don't find anything better, uh, we'll come back and see if we can nab that level 20, assuming that is the level 20. Okay, the one that I think the one that was up in the air just landed, and it is a level 20. All right, you know what? We're taking a 20 for now. Yeah, one shot. <laughs> uh, okay, we need some prime meat now. I don't think I have any raw prime in here. It's probably all spoiled by now because it doesn't last very long. Okay, so let's see. What's going to give us a prime? A stego? Or a Bronto or a baby. Uh, all right, let's take Hornita and Spike with us. Oh, hey, they gave us an egg. Nice. Because if we're going to get into it with, you know, Stegos are pretty damn dangerous these days. Uh, and, of course, Brontos are too. Even the lower level ones can put the herd on us. Uh, but the quickest and easiest thing is a baby. In fact, I think I see a Theomia baby over there, maybe? I don't know. I've actually nabbed, a, imprinted on a couple of babies, but I've lost them because um, it was before... Yeah, there's a there's a little Philomia baby. It was before um, I had the Anks and I just I, I just had too much trouble keeping berries in their inventories uh, and or in the trough, so I ended up losing them. And then a Bronto killed a couple too. So sorry, sorry, Mama Philomia, but uh, 
We're in need of your baby's giblets. I know, that's very cruel. Good lord, look how much prime this thing's giving me. 47 pieces. Thank you for your uh, contribution. <laughs> I know, but I'll, I'll keep saying it. I'm a terrible human being. Um, actually, you know what? You just follow me back because you guys are too damn slow. Terrible human being. Yes, I am. But I'm a human being that needs to survive in a hostile environment. So that's my rash rationalization. Because, you know, I'm being forced to play this game. I have no choice, right? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. It's probably going to take a couple bites and stand right up. But we'll put all of these on there because it'll last longer on it than it went me anyway. Oh, yeah. One more bite and it's up. So, hey, we'll get 20. Uh, we'll get nine levels. <laughs> 29 to write it up. Ah, uh, it is what it is. It's the first tame, so what can you do, right? All right. So you are Petra version 1.0. So the only thing that we're going to level on this bird is stamina and maybe a little bit of weight. Because all it has to do is carry us from point A to point B. I'm not going to be using it for combat or anything like that because it's just too weak sauce. Um, okay, so um, let's just... Actually, here. Let me take half of that meat out. You guys just chillax here. And uh, we are going to head over to the mainland and get ourselves a little bit of crystal. So everybody should be good over here. Um, yeah, that stamp is going down so fast. But, you know, that's to be expected, right? Let's land on this little islet here. Get the stamina back, and then we'll head over to the mainland. Now, there's a couple places we can get crystal we can we can go into the lava cave which isn't too far away or we can just go if we look at this um there we go uh this mountain here has crystal for sure. Um, and then the lava cave, I think, is in this little... No, actually, I think it's maybe a little further up the coast, the lava cave. I'm not... I don't remember. I, I'll be able to find it. I just don't remember exactly where it is on the map. So the lava cave is probably going to be closer. And of course, no, we're not going to actually do the lava cave. We're just going to duck our head in and grab some crystal. Because uh, we're not ready to do that, of course. Uh, there's also crystal on top of uh, no, uh, well, actually, I, get, I don't know if there's crystal on top of there, but there is on top of the red peak here, but that's even further away. Okay, your stamina good? Okay, let's head on over this way. You know what we could do, too, while we're over here is maybe just look for a, a better level. You're already out of stamina. We could use the bird, I suppose, to kill some really low-level things like dodos just to get it a couple more levels. Oh, I, I guess it already has some levels. Uh, no, not me. You. Let's go with... Uh, what are we doing? Stamina. stamina okay well you know what uh, I'm not gonna keep wasting time doing this let's just uh, let's just go okay here's a Petra what level are you yo uh, level 20 it's so hard to see 
I wish they would make the text larger, uh, you know, on the, the dino levels. Maybe there's even something in the menu that does that. I don't know. See, I wouldn't mind a decent level... Oh, there's a Rex. A uh, decent level Pelagornis either. They are very... Very useful. Yeah, I have no idea of knowing what level that Rex is. And I don't want to fly close to it and then run out of stamina because that will be the end of us. So we'll take uh, rests of opportunity. Yes, indeed. Okay, there's a Pelagornis. What level are you, yo? You're a level 50. Eh. Obviously going to be better than the Tranodon, but not hugely better. Here's another Tyranidon. Let's go see. Can I just see from here? Level 15. Nope. Couple Pelagornis over here. If we knock them out, we'll have to uh, get some fish, which won't be hard to do. You're level 20. Man, what the hell's on with all these low levels? Should we try and kill that Dillo? Yep, for some reason... Oh, is harvesting turned off? Oh, level 100. Okay. Right in the eye. Oh, it's already out. <laughs> oh, that's brutal. Okay, stay there, dude. I don't think their torpor drops real fast either. We just go grab some fish. I don't think there's really much of a chance for us to get prime fish, so it's just going to have to be fish fish. Um, let's not leave you here on the beach with enemies nearby. Stamina and uh, harvest settings. Yep. Resource collection was disabled. That's kind of weird that they do that by default. Okay, I just need some fish. Preferably not sharks. Uh, and because we do have sharks, I don't want to get too deep out into the water either. That fish chattering is so irritating and so unrealistic. Not that there's anything very realistic at all in this game, but it's just... What the hell, man? It's... It's, um... Not ear-shattering, but it's, you know, it's like fingernails on the chalkboard. Kind of feel to it. It's like, ugh, cringe. Cringeworthy. That's the word I'm looking for. Okay, so at eight, it's going to need, if it's only going 3% per bite, uh, that means it's going to need about 35-ish pieces, I think. Yeah, that's, prob that's, <laughs> that's probably enough. Um, it's going to track for me, right? Yeah, okay. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to, we'll have to keep an eye on the torpor, too. It, it's, it'll probably be okay. I mean, if not, if worst case scenario, I can pick some narco berries. Um, I don't have a saddle for it either, so we'll have to just fly it back to our base and then make a saddle there. Let me just kind of fly around and make sure there isn't anything 
super nasty around. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm just going to leave it there. And if it gets eaten, it gets eaten. Because uh, I want get, to go get the crystals so we can get our spyglass made. And if we happen to see a, a even higher level Pelagornis, we might nab it too. Because why not, right? Let's see what this one is. You are a... I don't even know what you are. Yeah, I'm not going to waste a bola on it until I know what it is because bolas are kind of expensive. Well, they're not that expensive, but they are consumable. Yeah, we might, we might need to get some um, narco berries on that thing. Look at all of them up here. See, if I had a spyglass, I could just... Yeah, you know what? Screw these guys. Let's just go get our, our crystal. They're all over. Here's another one. See, a Pelagornis can help us get prime meat. You're level 5. Seriously? Uh, prime fish meat, rather. I think they can, anyways. Maybe if you, like, eat a salmon or something. Uh, I think this is where the lava cave is. Here, let's look at the map. Uh, is that right? I don't know. Just fly back here for a second. Something, Something's going on. No, I don't think this is the lava cave. I know it's on the east coast and further south than north, but that's all I remember. You know what, though? I think it's further back. I think we've gone too far because we're already to the swamp. I had a, a big uh, sea base right in this spot uh, the last time I played on the island. Okay, yeah, so let's go back to the south, and I'll, I'll... Oh, out of stamina. I'll eventually figure out where it's at. Yeah, this is it. I, I think that is that... Uh, this is the U-shaped place that I was looking at on the map earlier. Um, yeah. Okay, so this is the right place. I just got to figure out, I think, where's the entrance at? It's around here somewhere. All right, here maybe? Yep, right there. Okay. Okay, you just stay there. Uh, we can't get a lot of crystal because... This guy's not going to be able to hold a lot of weight. Um, if we go here, and we, we're going to do super spyglass, so we need five crystal for that. And if we do a jar, which we should, we're going to need two crystals. So we need we need nine crystal in total. Um, or no, no, uh, around that much. Okay. Oh, cave load in. Dang. Okay. How the hell can't I hit that? Wow, it is really stuttery in here. Okay, that's enough crystal. That's all we need for now. That... Oh shit, that, that concerns me for when the time comes for us to actually do caves. It is really bad in here. Hmm. We might have to turn the graphics down even more. I was looking at um, some graphics cards on uh, earlier this morning online, and man, they are so freaking expensive. Just crazy expensive. 
And I just, you know, I, I've got a, a separate account that's um, kind of like my gaming account, I guess you would. And if I bought a 4080 right now, I'd pretty much drain it. I, I could buy it, but, but <laughs> it would drain the whole damn thing. Um, so I don't know. I, it's, I'm going to keep trying to make this 3060 Ti work for now. now. The game runs reasonably well in terms of frame rate, uh, when, when, you know, when, with medium settings uh, on my, my rig, uh, but I also have an ultra widescreen monitor too. So, you know, that impacts performance as well because it's somewhere in between 4k and 2k, you know, with the ultra wide settings um, and then of course I have to run OBS and I'm running the game on my computer I'm not on a server uh, so all that adds up you know uh, okay you are gonna need you're gonna need some narcotic help um, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick a couple of uh, narco berries and then just run back to the base and grab narcotic because I got so much of it and then come back here so I will meet you guys back here when the Pelagornis stands up. And we're kind of close here. Nope. Open. Oh, shit. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, no. Oh, this is not a good day. Uh... Yeah, I I made the saddle. I shouldn't have made the damn saddle. Um, and then I made it, and then I tried to to bring it back over here, and it was too heavy for the birds. I had to stop and go to put it back. Oh, son of a bitch! All right. Um, well, I've got the narcotic with me now. This is still our our best bet. So let's knock it out again. Oh, no, 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 no! Don't be doing that. Shit really damaged it um let's not do a headshot oh geez that was close okay um all right well i'll do this all over again i'll bring you guys back when it stands up unless i find something better because now i've got the spyglass let's see that is a level 70 no that's not better oh man of all the rotten freaking luck what are you Level 15. <laughs> They're all coming. Jeez. Oh, shit. They're going to probably go eat him. Should have let him get a little closer. Oh, good. We got some prime. Ah! <laughs> Run away! Going to get bit in the butt. Yowzers! <laughs> Cool, we got some fried meat. That'll teach you for chasing me. Very nice. That might be enough to get, get it to stand up. We'll get a little more taming effectiveness, too. Uh, so right now it's at 41 levels. It's probably going to be... We're probably going to lose another level, maybe. Uh, one to three, I'm guessing. Depending upon... Um, I, I mean, there's enough prime fish for it to, to stand up now with that. Um, you know what I should have done in hindsight is I should have killed the sharks first before I started feeding them, but I just didn't think about it. So it is what it is. 
let's just get rid of this extra fish meat. We don't need it. So getting close. All right, we got the 41 levels, and um, we're going to call you Pella because you are a female Pelagornis. And so, yeah, she stood up at level 141, and here's her stats, and not bad. I'm going to put uh, this extra weight stuff on her so we can fly as quickly as possible back to the base on the Tranodon and get ourselves a... Uh, saddle made up. Well, actually, I have the saddle made up. I just, like I said, I wasn't able to to carry it because it was too heavy for the Tranodon. Okay, so yeah, it kind of sucked that we had to uh, do that twice. Ooh, that's a high-level theory. Hmm, I'll have to remember. It's over here. Uh, Therizinos are, like, some of the best dinos for the dragon boss fight, so more than likely we're going to be racing an army of them for that fight in particular. Megatheriums are supposed to be the best for Broodmother, though. I'll tell you what, um, I use Theries for the Broodmother, too. Uh, that just said... Wait, did that say one? No, never mind. I just I was looking at my Pell. I was going to say, that's a 141? Um... What was I saying? Oh, yeah. I used the Therese for the Broodmother fight on Fjord or two, and they just tore her a new one. Uh, even the Alpha one, it was just no contest. So they're just very, very good boss dinos. All right. We've made it safe and sound back to the base. Let's grab our Pelagornis saddle. those in there actually what am i wearing for shoes oh no i'm, I'm wearing some um some gillies nice gillies uh, like ascendant that i got out of one of the drops it's funny they got like little <laughs> little mushrooms and branches growing out of them the full suit is pretty cool looking too okay um stop flying come here let's get this on you and that's a level 80 and a level 20 inky then okay all right, so we have ourselves a Pelagornis, ladies and gentlemen. Here, you know what? Let's put this, um, not that it's going to matter. It's not going to last long enough. Uh, but let's put this stuff in the... Uh, I'll have to look and see what I want to do for weight. But we'll put the prime in here. It's going to spoil anyways, but we'll put it in there anyway. And then we'll put a couple pieces of fish meat in the trough, too. All right, we're going to have to drop some berries. Oh, there's our lockup. Man, we got went for such a long time without locking up, too. But it still happens on occasion. Not as much as it used to. Ah, shit, I don't remember the last time I saved. See, that's the problem. It, it happens so infrequently now that I don't save as often as I was saving. Uh, hopefully the game did an autosave uh, after the Pelagorn is tamed. If not, well, you know, we'll just deal with it. Damn it, Jim. And again, it's it's all not in every single case, but most of the time when I get a, a lot a freeze or a crash rather like this, it's when I'm opening up an inventory, whether it's my inventory or a chest or a dino. Uh, that seems to be what really uh, causes it to happen most of the time. But, you know, if I can get a couple hours of gameplay, which is about what I've been playing since I started recording before a crash, that's better than crashing every five fucking minutes, but it's still frustrating, especially when you lose progress. Oh, God. It put me all the way back here. Oh, that's frustrating. <sighs> all right, well... I'll, I'll meet you guys uh, back at the base uh, once I get the thing stood up again. This is just so frustrating, man. I got to tell you, it is very frustrating. What can you do, though? Okay, guys, we are back to 
<laughs> where we were uh, when the crash occurred. Uh, so yeah, I I actually I lost two levels, so she stood up at 139 this time just because of the timing with killing the sharks and everything. But you know, it is what it is. Uh, so before we put any points into her, um, let's let's check her stamina first because she's gonna kind of be our her main role is going to be to transport us, and so you know we need. I want to make sure she has really good stamina. Uh, she's also very good at getting fish, um, which is one reason why I really like the Pelagornis in the early game, anyways. Um, you're level 15, so the stamina is not terrible. And the, you know the nice thing too is if she does run out of stamina in the water, we're not in trouble because she just goes down and then sits on the water to get it back. So let's run her out of stamina. That's really cool how the wings flap on the on the water too. Like that. <laughs> nice little effect there. Okay, so she's out of stam. So she'll just sit down right on the water just like a duck and uh, get the stamina back. So she's very safe for flying across large bodies of water too. Uh, all right, cool. And then um, if we see some fish, she can get fish for us, which is really nice. And we got another level up. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get her stamina up pretty significantly. We're gonna want her to have health, stamina, and weight. Those are really the three most important things. She's not really a combat uh, bird, so I'm not. Probably not going to put a whole lot of points into melee damage, at least not until I feel like the stamina and the weight and all that's uh, at an adequate level. So cool, man. All right. Well, guys, uh, I'm not exactly sure where we are uh, for time in this episode. So uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to do a soft ending here. And what I mean by that is I'm officially ending the episode right now. Uh, but there are a couple of explorer notes uh, here on this island, and I'm going to go grab those and listen to the story behind it or read it if it's not a narrated story. So for those of you who don't care about that, um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. And uh, for the rest of you who want to stick around and see the Explorer notes, let's go grab them. Okay, so one of those notes is over here. Among the island's most tenacious pack is Hyenodon dyrus, a carnivore most often found across the mountains and tundras in packs of three to six. Hyenodon is a very intelligent predator. Before engaging, it determines if the payoff for a fight is worth the risk of injury. Hyenodon often prefers not to fight unless there is an already weakened prey or a fresh carcass nearby. This temperament changes quickly, though, near the presence of injured creatures. Hyenodon quickly becomes very aggressive, and the pack attacks with ruthless abandon. With each vicious chomp of scavenged meat, the Hyenodon rapidly recovers health and stamina. Despite being too small to ride, Hyenodon are still popular pets. Their intelligence means they train well, and their natural pack mentality makes them excellent hunting dogs. Their ability to quickly recover health by consuming raw flesh off the bone ensures that they can take punishment, yet continue to fight, and they can efficiently preserve meat in specially crafted saddlebags. A common and terrifying sight on the tundra is a rider on a canis with a pack of hyenodon at its side, howls and jeers echoing through the night. All right, cool. So. The hyenodon is, um, what it's good for is killing <laughs> because uh, they seem to give a lot of extra XP, or at least they did on the Fjorder map. So I'm assuming it's probably the same here on, uh, on the island map. So, uh, yeah, if you're, if you're leveling up a creature and you see a pack of hyenodons, go kill them and, and you seem to get a little extra XP boost from them. And then of course, you know, they're good for preserving meat, but I mean... I've never really found that to be particularly useful, and as such, I've never, uh, I've never tamed one. I, I suppose if you had one with you, 
uh, and you're trying to preserve like some prime meat for a little longer for a tame, that could be that could be useful. So I'm just trying to think of you know what a practical, uh, other than very early game uh, use for it would be. Okay, here's the other one. Let's see what this is. Megalania murraspeed is among the largest creatures found throughout the island's complicated cave networks. Reaching up to three meters long, it can traverse vertically up cave walls with little difficulty thanks to its powerful claws. Fortunately, Megalania's size means it is unlikely to sneak up on anyone. Unfortunately for Spelunkers, it is an aggressive and dangerous creature nonetheless. Like other Varanidae, Megalania is a venomous creature. Its poison is slow acting, but will drain the victim's effective strength and health until death, unless cured by a rare antidote. That said, the Megalania's prey are usually ripped apart well before they succumb to the poison's long-term effects. The rare ability of Megalania to effortlessly climb sheer environmental walls makes it a highly sought after mount. While it is by no means the fastest, strongest, or toughest mount, the manner in which it can effortlessly scale mountains, clamber up barricades, hide in trees, or upside down, ensures it will always have a place in any tribe stables. All right, cool. Yep, I've definitely tamed those in the past, and they are very useful for caving in particular because of the fact that they can climb walls and stuff like that. All right, guys. Um, so, yeah. I guess we've already officially ended the episode, so now I'm going to actually end the episode. Uh, probably take the Pelagornis out, get it uh, leveled up a little bit, and then, you know, pretty quickly here, we're, we're going to go ahead and move away from this island and go to our permanent base location, which I'm pretty sure I know where that's going to be, but I still have to give it some thought, so I, I, I'll hold that, withhold that information until I know for sure. Um, and, you know, we are ourselves are more or oh geez louise 26 levels goodness okay i'll have to figure those out we are more or less back to where we were in terms of level i'm 69 i think we were 70 something in the previous uh series before i started over so we're pretty darn close we don't have all the critters that we had before but um we have better utility critters we just don't have as good combat critters but that's okay that'll all change as time goes on um, so with that being said, thanks guys for watching and have yourself a good day or evening, whatever time it is. Okay. I'll shut up now. Bye.